was an interesting night. But I need to get the feck out of this kit frontal. I'll tell you about it now when I get out of this traffic because uh, there may be a serious rant coming up. was I should have known there was something up as soon as I got in last night apart from the fact that there was a wedding party pulled in I could live with that but uh, when I went upstairs uh, to my room I could look out the window I could hear all of these things arriving into the car park and then young ones transferring uh, boxes of alcohol into suitcases to squirrel them into the rooms and then they'd left other boxes of uh, alcohol in the boots of the car and then there was this and I'll be as polite as I can just groups of yobs in the hotel the whole night just causing havoc Walking around, look at this, I'm revving the cars out of the out of them. Um, walking around the hotel, plastered drunk. They had bottles of tequila hanging out of their back, back pockets, look at this. They, uh, most of the blokes seem to have mullets. And, uh, Jesus. Just being generally obnoxious. And so I went to bed at about half eleven. And then at about, I don't know, midnight, it fucking kicked off. I mean, kicked off. There was dozens of them out in the uh, car park having basically a big drinking party from the boots of their car and drag racing those yokes up and down and up and down the avenue in front of the hotel all night it was at least four or five o'clock in the morning they were hammered drunk donutting racing uh, just causing mayhem outside mayhem I rang down to the reception they did flip ball to be honest I rang the guards they did even less um, it was just a nightmare a nightmare all night oh my god all night and then it started again early this morning Just ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous. I mean, these guys obviously think they've watched too much of the Fast and the Furious. Well, I've something to tell you, lads. Your cars are nearly as nice as the one in that movie. Those are proper cars. Oh my god. Wow. What a bunch of a-holes. Excuse my French, maybe I'm getting old, but that was unbelievably irritating. All night. And incredibly dangerous. They, I mean, these guys were hammered drunk. Hammered. And all these uh, young girls getting into the cars with them. Jesus, the thought of it. If they'd have killed somebody or themselves, for what? To rev a car? I don't know. Youth is wasted on the young. Anyway, that's my rant over. It just annoyed the bejeepers out of me. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, let it spoil the rest of my day. I'm tired because I got thick all sleep. I'm absolutely knackered. So, 
be honest with you, I'm kind of glad I've only had another two days to go. I'll be glad to get home because after last night, now I am shattered, shattered. But uh, yeah, so I had a look on uh, Google last night. So it looks like for the Grabbers Pub, the uh, Mars Tavern, and it looks like not only was I in the right place, but I was looking straight at the bloody building. Um, I was stood right in front of it. So now I know what I'm looking for. Uh, I go back in, I'm passing it anyway. We're gonna head out that way anyway to catch the ferry across. And uh, I get the photograph of it this time. We have one photo rally point to do today, but other than that, we're going to head out over the lock. I think it's Locks Willy, and then over onto the Causeway Coastal. Once we pass Muff here, we'll be officially off the Wild Atlantic Way. Well, no, actually, we'll be on it. But the last so basically, once we uh, once we cross the uh, the lock, we're totally off the Wild Atlantic Way. It is done. So let's push on and see what we see today. Sorry for my little rant, but uh, I'm tired and cranky today. Yeah, so this is the village of Muff. Just passed through there, got my sandwich now so I can have my lunch on the road later. Uh, and this is the official start or end point of the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, it's, the, it's the northern point. Uh, so if you're starting from the north, this is where you started from. Or if you're coming from the south, this is where you finish it from. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to head out now along the coast up. Uh, to go into Moville again. And this time, uh, have a better look at the building I think is Mars Pub and see if it is. And then uh, we push on onto the ferry. And then we'll be onto the Causeway coastlines. All right, talk to you in a moment. This time I'm going to find you, Mars Tavern. Okay, let's do this. Apparently, that's it, that white building. Yeah, so apparently that white building is it, so that's what threw me because it doesn't look anything like the one in the movie. So either they've built a whole new building or they've remodeled it and then repainted it, but it certainly looks different. But yeah, no, I think it is it. It's updated. It's been, it's been... So yeah, Mars Tavern. Looking completely and utterly different. Crack on and we'll catch this ferry. I'm not sure how often it runs. Actually, I should have probably checked if it's still running because of uh, COVID, but uh, I'm sure it is. It's a fairly uh, 
fairly busy route. So I catch this ferry. <coughs> I just realised I've been calling it Lock Swilly, but it's actually Lock Foil. Sailing suspended. Next sailing. It's not sailing. No sailing. Shit. Well, that's added a few hours onto my day. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to rejig things here now, folks. That's a kick in the nuts. That is a kick in the nuts. Five miles to go back now. Right, let me rejig this and uh, I'll be back to you. A few moments later. Right, so. I've had to rejig the route. I'm just going to go straight to the photo point because that's where this ferry would have dropped me pretty much off on. Yeah, see, I'm the X. We were going to go over to A by McGilligan. So now I have to drive all the way down the coast road on the down past Derry, out past the airport, and all the way back up to McGilligan. Um, it's going to add somewhere between 40 to 50 minutes onto the drive, so it's, uh, it's not the worst. <coughs> but as you can see, it's a, it's a significant uh, ferry port terminal, so I'm surprised it's not running. Uh, that's a kick in the nuts. So we have to get over there, right across the lock. So we have to drive all the way back down, all the way out and up there, just because that ferry isn't running. That's, that's annoying. I should have checked that last night. I should have checked it last night. Flip. Oh well. I've forgotten what even point this is that I'm looking for. I'm sure I'll recognise it when I see it, but uh, beautiful area. I don't know what that uh, mountain is there with the forest around it, but God, it's beautiful. Oh, I think it's this church. I think it's this church up here. Jeepers, it's in a beautiful spot, that's for sure. Let's get this photo. Right, so that's the photo point done. That's the only one for today. <clears throat> um, and now I've put back on the original route where we would be. Uh, had we got the ferry 
so we're back on track now uh, now added in about 45 minutes so uh, that's not the worst I don't mind that we're still getting in quite early 624 even if I take you know a drone shot or two maybe seven half seven that's fine uh, I might take a rest day tomorrow because with the weather so good I ended up not taking any rest day so now I've been what um, about eight days or so uh, without stopping road up on top of there I must look that up for the next time I'm up here but I can see cars driving along the top of it Looks like the sign to that road I saw. Vinavena scenic route, unsuitable for coaches and caravans. You can drive up it there. That is one I will be checking out on Google Maps, but not today because I don't want to upset my route anymore. into Port Stewart here down at the promenade busy busy busy
to the proper causeway coastal ride here now uh, should see Dunluce Castle here to my left at some point there it is there up ahead of me And this is really like the section that I'm trying to get down to, which is for me is the, the highlight for today, which is the uh, Larne to Cushendall Road. Although today we'll be doing it from Cushendall to Larne. We're going to drop over Tor Head via Cushendun to Cushendall and then down to Cushendall to Larne uh, Road. Stunning coastal road. Now we did that on uh, the trip over to um, Scotland, if you remember, the night before. I had some time to kill so I did it but uh, I didn't have my ND filters on so uh, a lot of it got washed out uh, you couldn't see the proper uh, coastal route so we'll do it again with this proper filter on uh, and if the weather stays good we should get a better view of it if he's, uh, if he's having ridden it before but it's a, it's a stunning stunning road and, uh, and then we're going to finish in Belfast tonight in the beautiful uh, Titanic Hotel. So we'll crack on and see some views now.